What up, everybody? I'm Jack Slater, a.k.a. The Comic Outlaw. Yeah, man. And I hope you're ready because we're covering X-23, Innocence Lost, Issue 4. And man, it's been one hell of a ride so far. X-23 has been betrayed by one of the scientists that created her named Xander for the murder of his father at the hands of Wolverine a long, long time ago. As Dr. Kenny begins to realize what she has done, the true horror of her crimes, her crime against motherhood, among so many other things, knowing that in her heart, she carried this baby through term and they have raised a killer. They've experimented on her, done horrible things, made her do things as a child that no child should have to go through. And she's realizing this was her biggest mistake. As X-23 walks through the door, everyone is surprised to see her, including Xander. He had betrayed his own men in order to bring the hammer down upon her. But there stands X-23. She has survived. She had to carve her way through blood to do it. They thought she was dead. They managed to shoot her. They took her down. But... She has a healing factor, and she's been trained to kill her whole life. And she slaughters each and every one of them. It's what she has to do to survive. As her mother looks at her and realizes she's been cutting herself. She's known nothing but blood, pain, suffering, death. And she is realizing that she is just a big monster as Xander is. As she reaches out, she tries to talk to her sister and then she realizes how far she actually has fallen. And this is guilt just playing all the way on her. As she realizes, and this is kind of interesting because her uh, sister's daughter had been kidnapped at this point and she makes a very tough decision and uh, I don't know if this is redemption or something else, but she decides to use X-23 in order to rescue her sister's daughter. You know, and uh, yeah, as Martin's girl, I guess the boss, you know, she got pregnant by Xander and she's been trying to tell him and Xander just kind of butts in. And this guy kind of raised Xander like he was his own son. I mean, this guy's a straight betrayer all the way through. So they get ready, you know, he pulls them aside. They have some business to discuss. He gives her that look, like, shut the hell up. And this guy's just playing everyone. He's playing everyone for a fool. And he's in the worst position possible, a position of power. Anyways, uh, they find out that X-23 is gone. And immediately they begin the hunt for her. As Dr. Kenny and her assistant find a way to help out her sister. And this is basically using X-23. I, like I said, X-23 was trained in more in combat. Like I said, I would love to figure out who trained her on espionage. It'd be very fascinating to know that. Anyway, she uh, claws her way up to the room. And uh, she begins to sniff around. So she can get the scent of both her cousin and, of course, the kidnapper. And basically she, you know, she basically says that she hasn't been there, but she's going to try to do some good, help out a little bit, you know, and she's here for her. And I guess this is the best thing possible. Why not send a international assassin, hunter, and killer after someone that kidnapped your niece? And of course she uh, dons a disguise, she sniffs around, she picks up this guy's trail. Like I said, she's an excellent huntress. She finds the building where he's at. And of course, she has a strategy. Uh, like I said, it's very fascinating. She's very coy, very smart. She knocks on the door and she uses the guise of a little girl, even though she's not a little girl. She is a killer, you know, to her advantage. Very smart. As she pulls out a box of cookies and she goes into her talking mode, saying that she's from the Girl Scouts and that she's selling cookies and that her parents aren't there. And, uh, yeah, this guy is jumping, chomping at the bit to get another victim. And boy, 
He has no idea what he's letting into his house. As they go into the house, anyone else would probably be scared of all the knives and all the other ropes and stuff like that as he pulls a blade out. As she gives him the box, and there's a picture of the girl she's hunting. This guy's stunned, saying he's going to kill her, but he's not ready. As, of course, the doctor and uh, her assistant are waiting for a signal. And the signal is she's throwing this scumbag right out the window, right into a car. Which is more than that piece of crap deserves. Anyways. X-23 does succeed in her mission. She rescues the girl. They bring her back in. They give her an injection too. That way they could do a little. Uh, mind erase on her. You know. Just tell her it was a dream. Or something happened. You know. That way they can deny the existence of X-23. Because no one knows she has a daughter. And, of course, Xander and the rest of the government goons come, you know. They explain, you know, that it, she did a bad thing and a good thing at the same time. Dr. Kenny doesn't care at this point. You know, because of all the things they've done to her in the past. And, like I said, maybe she's trying to get some redemption for them both. As uh, these guys are having a discussion. And this is where Xander shows his true colors as a scumbag. He asked Martin, the boss, to sign everything over. Under the guise that he lost one father, he doesn't want to lose another. I mean, this man is smooth. A scumbag, but smooth. He gets him to sign the paperwork. Hugs him. Drives away. And then. And then, out of the most scumbag move possible. He decides to turn the tables on this boss. The man that raised him is his own son. He tosses a watch in the trunk. Throws pictures at X-23 and tells her she only has so much time to kill them, to kill them all. He is turning X-23 on his own boss. So what will happen the next time? We'll find out, won't we? And I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah, yeah.